Hey everybody, Try Dying to Live here playing Kerbal Space Program. The last time we were here, we were p flying uh, Eve Big Boom. We actually made it. It took us 56 days just to get there. It was quite a uh, quite an experience. We made it though. We landed safely. It's pretty exciting. We've got some problems though. We got to take this off. We got to land. Um, and our biggest issue, uh, just offhand. Um, is the fact that uh, we are not at the equator. This is more towards the North Pole than at the equator. Um, and the reason, so let me actually zoom out here so you can see. There you go, so there's our line. We zoom in, here's our equator line, and so we're more at the North Pole. So that makes it harder because we're not going to be, um, you know, we're not gonna have a very good orbital plane. So that's gonna be one issue. Um, and then, of course, we don't even know if this actually works. Um, of course, we did fly from Kerbin to Eve. I did test this out by flying Kerbin to Eve. Um, so theoretically, it should be able to fly back. Um, the atmosphere is thicker, but I think the gravity is less. I didn't actually do any checking. That's just how I thought it was. Um, so we'll see. Um, maybe, maybe if we're lucky, we could actually, you know, since we're kind of in this weird angle, uh, we could end up in the orbital plane of Gilly. Um, if we have the orbital plane of Gilly, we can use that as a slingshot to get us back, give us a little extra oomph to hopefully make it. Uh, so here we go, uh, throttling up, and let's launch. So we're launching. We used up uh, a little bit of a tank, but uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully we'll be all right. Getting off the surface, thankfully the uh, the parachutes are not deployed anymore. They stopped as soon as we landed. Um, so we're looking, um, you know, nice and stable. Um, However, it looks as if the atmosphere is too thick and the gravity is actually more. So it's actually not going to make it. <laughs> That's right. I, I've already tested this out. And it, it, it you can't even make orbit. It's just it, it's too much. It's too much planet. And, and so poor Adney here, he's going to be stuck here forever. And ever and ever, unless unless we come back with uh, something else. And you might think, what we have to give it a bigger payload? Well, maybe not. Maybe the better solution is not a bigger payload, but a smarter payload. And by smarter, I'm thinking space plane. So here we're at 100 meters per second. We're 5,000 meters up, so we're almost a fifth of the way to the atmosphere. Uh, which is not, you know, nearly far enough. And uh, this guy doesn't, he does, can't even do anything. So that's, that's it for that. Um, so all we can do is just put our parachute out and, and land back down here, watching all those little bits fall back down to Eve. And so we're stuck on Eve at the North Pole of all places. Um, so we're, we're going to have to try a space plane. But, but the good news is, well, I wouldn't say good news. The uh, bad news for Adney, good news for us is this model, uh, as long as we can continue to fly this particular design, is a perfect lander for, uh, for well, Duna. So if you're not familiar with Duna, let me zoom out here. Uh, here's Duna right here, Kerbin, Duna. And so it's a Mars analog in this uh, solar system. And since it is a slightly smaller planet, and it is slightly, uh, it has less atmosphere, I believe. Of course, I thought that, you know, thought it was possible. But it's a, it's a perfect lander for Duna. And look, look, Duna is even on. Oh, I thought we just died. <laughs> it's even on the same orbital plane as Kerbin, so it'll be much, much easier to, uh, to land it. Uh, but in the meantime. I'm gonna let this guy uh, drift safely back to his uh, his well final resting place for the time being, um, and uh, that'll be that. And uh, in the next video, I guess we're going to Duna. So, um, well, until then, see you guys.